Remember television? Like, over the airwaves television? I'm old enough to remember when the boob tube was our connection to the world. Your news, your pop culture, your fashion, your entertainment, even music. Now, I didn't start playing bass until the eighth grade, but I'm convinced that TV planted the seeds for what would eventually become my career. So without further ado, here is my extremely subjective list of the top 10 TV theme song bass lines. Number 10 ran between 1973 and 1978 on CBS, and it starred Telly Savalas as New York City Detective Lieutenant Theo Kojak. It was composed by Billy Goldenberg, and I'm pretty sure was played by the great Carol Kay on bass. was also on CBS, and it aired from 1990 to 1995. It was a fish-out-of-water story about a New York City doctor sent to practice in the town of Sicily, Alaska. This theme was composed and performed by David Schwartz. Number eight ran between 1978 and 1981 on CBS. It was about a white former NBA player that becomes the coach of the basketball team for an impoverished inner city school. This theme was written by Mike Post and features some nasty keyboard and bass guitar playing by who knows. If you do, let me know in the comments. Number seven aired on HBO from 2002 to 2008. It was set in the city of Baltimore and is one of the greatest crime dramas of all time. This theme song was written by Tom Waits, but performed by a different artist each season. Season one being the Blind Boys of Alabama, featuring British bassist Danny Thompson. Number six ran on ABC from 1975 to 1978, and it starred Fred the Cockatoo and Robert Blake as plainclothes detective Tony Beretta. This theme song, Keep Your Eye on the Sparrow, was composed by Dave Grusin and performed by a very young and very funky Abe Laboreal on bass. <laughs> Number five also aired on ABC from 1975 to 1982. It was a sitcom set in a Greenwich Village police station and starred an assorted cast of characters. This theme was composed by Jack Elliott and Alan Ferguson, but the intro was improvised by bassist Chuck Berghofer. This is the second most requested piece of music if someone sees you're holding a bass. Number four is the only animated show on my list. It aired from 1998 to 1999 in Japan, and it's a sci-fi story about a bounty hunting crew aboard a spaceship called the Bebop. This theme was composed by Yoko Kano and performed by her band, The Seatbelts. Number 
Number three is another crime drama that aired on NBC from 1977 to 1983. It followed the exploits of two officers of the California Highway Patrol, or CHIPS. I loved this show. This theme was written by John Parker and arranged by Alan Silvestri. You know. That Alan Silvestri. Along with, I believe, a young Abe Laboriel again on bass. Number two ran from 1984 to 1992 on NBC and was one of my favorite shows in high school. It was set during the night shift of Manhattan Criminal Court and was put together basically by the same team who did Barney Miller. Same composer, Jack Elliott. And from what I've read features Mark, not Marcus, Mark Miller on bass. This is the third most requested piece of music if somebody sees you're holding a bass. First, a few honorable mentions. You didn't think I could just keep it to 10, did you? First honorable mention ran on NBC from 1986 to 1990, and it's another one of my favorites. It's about a hairy alien named Gordon Shumway that crash lands in the garage of a middle-class family in California. This theme was composed by Alf Clausen and Tom Kramer and features who knows who on bass. If you do, let me know in the comments. Our second runner-up ran on NBC from 1972 to 1977. They have all the best themes. And was based on a British sitcom called Steptoe and Son and featured the late, great Red Fox. This theme, The Street Beater, was composed by Quincy Jones and features multi-track bass magic by the great Chuck Rainey. <laughs> Our third honorable mention is from probably the most famous sitcom ever. It ran on NBC from 1989 to 1998, and it's not even a bass. It's a keyboard playing a bass sample, although that won't stop anyone from asking you to play it if they hear you slapping. It was written and performed by Jonathan Wolf and is the number one most requested piece of music if someone sees you're holding a bass. <laughs> Number one only ran from 1977 to 1978 on ABC. It was a spinoff from Barney Miller and starred Abe Vigoda as the titular character. This one is the obvious winner in my book. Third Time is a Charm with composers Jack Elliott and Alan Ferguson and featuring, again, the great Chuck Rainey on bass.
MTV great? This is only a tiny slice of some of the great music that TV brought to so many of us. Did I leave out your favorite TV baseline? Let me know in the comments. Do me a favor, get off YouTube, go turn on the TV. You'll thank me later.